The other example is the example of Khalid ibn Walid radiallahu an. The man who fought against the Prophet sallallahu alayhi and the companions. The man who was responsible for the wounding of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi The only man who defeated the Muslims while the Prophet sallallahu alayhi was among them. The only man, Khalid ibn Walid. But this is not what we know him as. We know him as this is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam him this special title called Saifullah. Because the same Saif that he used in dunya, in Jahiliyyah, he used it in Islam like no one else used it then or after. A man who after the Prophet ﷺ passed away. And Abu Bakr radiallahu an passed away. And Umar ibn Khattab was the Khalifa. He asked Khalid, Khalid, I need you to go to the Persian people, all the Roman people. I'm not sure exactly the battle. How many soldiers you need? Khalid said, give me 500. Amr al-Khattab reminded him, Ya Khalid, those people, they have themselves maybe 100,000 troops. Khalid said, okay, then give me 500 more. Amr told him to take 10,000 troops with him. Khalid did not want 10,000 troops. He said, those kuffar, Allah have only given them a piece of the dunya. But Allah gave to us the promise of akhirah. And wallahi, if I went there with the, only 10 believers, will come back with their power, will come back with victory. This is how he felt. Because those companions of the Prophet wasallam, they only cared about the dunya and they only thought about the dunya like the water when it hits the ground in the middle of the sky when the, in the summertime. How long it lasts? Like that. Like that. Because their hearts was not attached to dunya and they was only thinking, considering Akhirah, Allah gave them Izzah, Allah gave them power, and that power was felt before they even met the Kuffar. And those handful of troops, compared to those number of troops which the Kuffar had, was enough for Khalid. He came back with the victory, mashallah. These are our heroes, and for our young people that are in the streets, we don't like you to be in the streets. We don't like who you are with in the streets. We don't like what you are doing in the streets. We don't like what it does to the image of Islam. But we love you. We love you. You are the sons of Islam and the daughters of Islam and the future of Islam. And inshallah ta'ala, among you there is an Abu Dhar and there is a Khalid ibn Walid.